Tuesday the 15th of November, so let's have a look at the FTSE 100. Okay, so first thing to go over is yesterday's price action from the Monday. Um, the range of the market was a lot more normal for the FTSE, so hopefully that is the market getting back to normal after the US election. Um, currently, this market... is sitting in between a strong level of resistance and a strong level of support. We've already gone over the triple bottom a few times. Up above, you can see the resistance level. It's a strong level. Um, whilst the market is in this whole section, um, I am looking at it as in a short-term um, range. You know, I'm just looking at it as a range. Um, the market currently is showing more of a negative bias, suggesting um, bearish price action. However, whilst in the range like this, it can change. So we have the key level of resistance, the key level of support. It really depends how the market reacts to these levels um, whilst we are in the range. You know, the presidential election, the rally here was basically people betting on Hillary Clinton, the collapse, and then the subsequent recovery was when Donald Trump won, um, and then the sell-off was on the back of Trump's win also. So this whole level of price action right here is not giving us um, as many clues. For me, looking at the market currently, it is more negative suggesting that bearish price action but whilst in this key level all you're doing is looking at it as in a range um, for me i actually really like when the markets are in ranges it's um, very easy to trade it because you're taking buys and you're taking sells um, and they're both high probability you're just you know implementing your trading plan so on the five minute time frame let's have a look so up above we have three key zones where I will be watching. Then as we come down below, basically the green arrows are the zones that I identify for subscribers as the preferred trading areas for me for the day. So anywhere where there's a rectangle is a potential trading zone. It's a good level of support and resistance. However, um, the arrows are just the stronger of those zones. So those are basically the areas I'm going to be watching. I am just looking for this market to be traded as a range, as I've mentioned, um, until we start getting that evidence, either that, either the market confirming the bearish sentiment or starting to rally once again and break the resistance, which would turn the market negative, uh, positive sorry, once again, um, with expectations of it returning up into the all-time highs. Okay, guys, so what we will do is we'll come back at 4.30, the close of the FTSE. I will go over the price action on the higher time frame. Um, if we have a significant day, I'll take you through what it means for the market, what it suggests for the market moving forward. And zone traders, I will take you through all the potential setups um, for the day. Okay, we're at 20 to 5. The FTSE is now closed. First thing we can see on the daily time frame is the market has not really gone anywhere once again. You tend to see price action like this uh, when you're in between very strong resistance and very strong support. It's basically the market um, chopping sideways uh, with no overall bullish or bearish sentiment. If we drop down onto the 5 minute, what we can see is, well, first thing is, zones for the day worked very, very nicely. For me, the main zone was this one, um, as marked this morning as key for selling. Market came straight up into this zone today. Uh, for me, the trade that I took was this one right here. And potentially, zone traders, you could have gotten a little bit earlier at 9.40. For me, this was a better entry. You can actually see this trade as the live trade, which I will post up as a separate video. Um, I was looking down here 
for how the market reacted, with a target being down here. Um, I almost got stopped, stopped out on this trade. Basically came half a point away from my stop. Um, whilst up here, another great entry, Zone Traders. It would be the exact same thing. Um, this could then be taken as your first target because the entry is so good. And your second target and your third target. Market comes straight down into the 6792 zone. For me, after this trade, that was one to one. Um, I exited at this level. What does the market come to? It comes down into our um, pre-identified zone where we get a nice bounce. Market then comes back down for a potential buy position at two o'clock. 6792 remains the um, important level. Market reaches 6792, breaks through straight up into our next zone. So, once again, uh, a very nice trading day. Looking at the FTSE now, um, all it's doing is confirming the strong uh, resistance and support zone with the market not really going anywhere as yet. Um, all I will say is, thus far, looking at this price action from today, it is continuing on with the slightly negative bias that I hold in this market. Okay guys, as always, I hope that was helpful. I'm James Orr and thank you.